The board of directors has voted to change the name of the UC Hastings College of the Law. It turns out the man it was named for had a troubling past, and there are those who are asking why it took so long. KPI X5's Joan Ramos has the story. UC Hastings College of Law is named after Serenus Clinton Hastings, California's first Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. But he has another title as well, that of mass murderer. Hastings owned a cattle ranch in Round Valley in Mendocino County in the 1850s and wanted land that the Yuki Indian tribe was living on, so he simply paid to have them murdered. They even submitted bills to the legislature to be reimbursed for their, quote, expenses in carrying out these killings. This is the history of California that, sorry to say, we need to teach. John Briscoe is a San Francisco attorney who once taught at the law school. In 2017, he exposed Hastings' past in an op-ed article in the San Francisco Chronicle. I simply wanted the story told this man was a mass murderer. I mean, we don't have the University of California Joseph Mengele Medi Medical Center, do we? But the school stuck with the name until a New York Times article last month laid the whole story out, implying that Chancellor David Fagman wasn't interested in making a change. In a statement, he denied that, saying, quote, there is no effort from me or the college to oppose a name change. My commitment is to do what we can to bring restorative justice to the Yuki people and other indigenous communities who were affected by Serenus Hastings' horrific acts. But a member of the Yuki tribe says they have not actually been included in any talks and issued their own statement saying, quote, it is shameful that the school leadership did not act on its own accord, but instead only acted when the spotlight was shined on it by the news media. Hastings is a prestigious law school and there are concerns from students about what the name change might mean for them. Name recognition is a lot, so if we were to change our name, people would be like, oh, what law school do you go to, you know? So it definitely poses a problem, and I think that's one that they've been trying to figure out. Briscoe says he's not concerned about the new name, but that there should be no question it needs to be changed. We're going to name things after people like that? I mean, just to ask the question answers it. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5.